New this morning, firefighters in Coachella have wrapped up a late night fire that broke out at the Coachella Valley Water District. That's where we find our News Channel 3's Madison Lyle live this morning with the very latest. Madison. Yeah, Angela, no more active flames this morning, but we can certainly see the damage in this area right near the entrance to the Coachella Valley Water District. These burned palm trees, we can still smell that charred smell in the air. And we know from our crew last night that was here that a pretty significant fire broke out. Cal Fire says it happened just after 11 on Tyler Street. Our crew at the scene said several bushes and at least one shipping container caught on fire near the vendors and delivery entrance of the facility. And that's where we are right now. There were no structures on on fire from what our crew was able to see and we know firefighters shut down Tyler at Avenue 52 toward Cardinal to control the flames. Access to the apartment complex across the street was also closed off. Only one entry and exit was open for a little while that has since reopened this morning and Cal Fire says the cause of this fire is still under investigation. We're going to be here bringing you updates coming up in the next half hour but for now live in Coachella Madison Weil News Channel 3. All right good to see that that fire is out. Thank you Madison. Time is now 6.03. Also new this morning in Cathedral City, a fire has destroyed a home overnight in the Dream Homes neighborhood. It happened just after midnight on Santa Barbara Drive when residents first smelled smoke. Firefighters say the house was a total loss and residences on either side did suffer heat damage. We're on both sides of the structure uh, on what we call exposures and uh, we addressed those first and then proceeded to attack the main fire. Two people are out of the home, but there are no reported injuries. Cal Fire and Palm Springs Fire Departments were called in to help Cathedral City's Fire Department. Power lines were down in the area. The cause of this fire does remain under investigation this morning. Time is now 6.03. An inmate is back behind bars this morning after escaping over the weekend. On Saturday afternoon, a heavy police presence circled the perimeter of the John J. Benoit Detention Center in Indio. This after 35-year-old Angel Felipe Alamand was arrested Friday afternoon. He reportedly stole $140,000 in a bank deposit bag from an armored car. Following the escape, some residents nearby were told to stay inside and lock their doors. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely uh, kind of one of those, uh, you know, keep your distance. He might be armed and dangerous type of thing. Um, yeah, just that, you know, mugshot kind of uh, opens my eyes, you know. Other residents stepped into action, checking their home and backyard to make sure no one was on their property. Riverside County Sheriff's deputies eventually found Alleman. He was booked into custody again and now faces additional charges. A Paris man is in custody this morning after allegedly throwing his own feces at Palm Springs police officers. Huh. On Friday morning, police were dispatched to a hotel on Warm Sands Drive for reports of vandalism. When officers arrived, they made contact with the suspect, 40-year-old Gabriel Castaneda Hernandez, who was sitting in a car they say extremely intoxicated. Police say Hernandez then became combative with officers and then threw his waist at officers while they tried to detain him. Hernandez resisted medical attention and was eventually taken to the hospital. Then on Saturday morning, officers were contacted by Hernandez outside the police station. He was later detained again after learning he voluntarily left the hospital. He remains in jail on $10,000 bail this morning. It's now 6.05. Governor Newsom has mandated that churches and places of worship can no longer hold indoor services for now. Some local churches are now holding mass outdoors, even in triple-digit heat here in the Valley. Others are returning to online-only sermons. News Channel 3's Caitlin Thrope met with some local church leaders to see how they're adjusting to the new restrictions. First Communion moved outdoors this weekend at Our Lady of Perpetual Help in Indio. And this is how the setup will look next weekend as their Sunday Mass moves outdoors as well. I didn't want to say we're closing again. Reverend Alexander Gamino says they used to see about 8,000 people a weekend. Now their outdoor Mass would be able to seat 80 people over the weekend. Hence why we're trying to figure out better ways. One of those ways, he says, might be starting drive through communion. Now, granted, there's, we still have many parishioners who are, do not feel safe, and, and I totally understand that, and, and I, would, I, I wouldn't want to impose that they have to do this, but I do want to give those who do want that opportunity. 
Sacred Heart Catholic Church is not considering drive through communion. However, they're getting ready to take their mass outdoors next weekend as well. And of course, it's the temperature. That's our concern. So we're changing mass times. We're going to start at 6 in the morning. And there'll be quicker masses in the case of our parish, 6, 7, 8, 9 in the morning and then 7 o'clock at night. But we got to have reservations because we have to keep it to 100 or less. Jeff Jaso is a pastor at the Door Christian Fellowship in Palm Desert. They jumped at the chance to reopen, but for them, that was short-lived as well. If we weren't in the desert and our wonderful 127 degrees, we would probably try an outdoor service out there. But um, right now, with the summer temperatures, we're going to just uh, shift it back to Zoom. Through the ups and downs, Pastor Jaso says he's actually seen his church grow in number through the pandemic. It's kind of slowed life down and, and helped us see that we're not in control. News Channel 3, Caitlin Thrope. Time is now 6.07. As cases surge across the nation, top Republicans are proposing additional relief. But now the president is resisting. I'll tell you why coming up. And a sex offender has now been moved several times around Southern California in the last several days because of public outcry, where he's landed for now, but straight ahead. You're watching News Channel 3, the desert's news leader. A new school year like no other, and News Channel 3 committed to getting answers. We're asking about schools in every district and delivering those answers to you health, safety, and the quality of education. We are working, we can't help them. That's why we have teachers. With the uncertainties families face, News Channel 3 is here with the most complete coverage of how children will start the new school year. Watch News Channel 3 in the morning, your back-to-school information headquarters. As an ER nurse, when I need to get away, my family vacations safely in our giant RV. Leave the crowds and your worries behind. Vacation on your terms this summer in a new RV from Giant RV. Record low fuel prices and interest rates make this the best time to buy. Choose from America's number one selling RV brands, motorhomes, toy haulers, and trailers. Our summer sale is on at every Giant RV dealership or shop online at GiantRV.com. Vacation your way in a new RV. And remember, nobody beats the Giant. This does not look like a discount sofa. It's not. Everything I sell is quality furniture, and I give you a discount. Bob's discount. Interesting. I remember this for as long as I live. Hmm. Bob, you look so young. Do you remember? It's not discount furniture. It's quality furniture at a discount. Bob's discount. At Bob's discount! Only at Bob's discount furniture. This selenite gray is so pretty, isn't it? Wow. Uh, Jim, could you pop the hood for us? There she is. Turbocharge, right? Yes, it is. Jim, could you uh, kick the tires? Oh, yes. Mm. Could you change the color inside the car? I'm sure. How about blue? That's more cyan, but jump in the back seat, Jim. Act like my kids. How much longer? Exactly how they sound. It's got massaging seats, too, right? Uh, oh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Visit the Mercedes-Benz Summer Event or shop online at participating dealers. Lease the 2020 GLB 250 SUV for just $4.19 a month at your local Mercedes-Benz dealer. Watch your live local news from anywhere. Download the KESQ app today. Live newscasts and breaking Coachella Valley news as it happens. Search KESQ in your app store today. Time is now 610. A sex offender who was bounced around from Orange County to Riverside County is now in San Diego County this morning. 59-year-old Carrie J. Smith was recently released from a mental hospital and is now free. His release has triggered warnings from law enforcement several times as he moved from Orange to Corona to Lake Elsinore over the past few days. Protests were held yesterday at a Lake Elsinore hotel where he was staying. San Diego Sheriff's deputies say he is now staying at a motel in the North County and deputies are monitoring him and have warned the public to stay away. In 1985, Smith pleaded guilty to a sexual assault involving a child. In 1999, he was admitted to a psychiatric facility after his wife said he wanted to rape a seven-year-old in the neighborhood. Which is terrific. A lawsuit filed against Riverside County alleges that social workers were aware of allegations of abuse against an eight-year-old two years before he died. It says they failed to investigate and intervene in the case of Noah McIntosh. Noah's father, Bryce McIntosh, faces charges of torture and murder in connection with his death last year. 
Noah's mother, Jillian Godfrey, has already pleaded guilty to child endangerment. His mother reported him missing in March of 2019. Noah's body has yet to be found. The lawsuit has been filed on behalf of his older sister, who is still a minor. She says five social workers in the county failed to protect them. Time is now 612. Congress is back in session, so we can soon find out if the Senate will pass a new coronavirus relief package. What that could mean for you as this crisis continues to unfold. We're moving through the morning hours with sunshine, and it looks like it's going to be a fairly warm start to the week, but the numbers come down as we head toward the latter part of this week. So there's some uh, good news in our first of the week forecast for you. Coming up, you're watching News Channel 3, the Desert's News Leader. We'll be right back. The pandemic making a big impact on Palm Springs. So are you still in a holding pattern on that? I-Team investigator John White discovers the major projects affected by the pandemic. What does that mean for the city to be in a hold or, or perhaps even losing some of these things? We've got to do things to protect what we have. See what projects are now delayed and how the city is now planning for the future. Watch Delayed Projects Palm Springs Wednesday at 6 on News Channel 3. This order could be more than an order. This could be the first snack you haven't had to share with the kids in weeks. Or this order could be the first reason to show off those new retros. Whatever this order is for you, we'll be here to take it. Now get two of the all-time favorites for just six bucks. Mix and match a classic Big Mac, quarter pounder with cheese, filet fish or 10-piece chicken McNuggets. Only at McDonald's. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. This summer, we'll be traveling in a cabin where every seat is premium and all baggage flies free. So fasten your seatbelts and enjoy the panoramic views. Nissan is offering nonstop routes to summer. And now is the best time to get into a new Nissan. Get a low $149 per month lease on the 2020 Nissan Sentra or save $3,000 on the 2020 Nissan Rogue Sport. From the Valley Plumbing family, our thoughts and prayers go out to everyone in the community. The health and well-being of our employees, customers, and communities we serve is our primary concern, and all CDC guidelines are strictly being followed. As an essential business, Valley Plumbing is open to help you with whatever plumbing needs you may have. We have great financing options and low interest rates. For 67 years, big or small, we fix it all at the best prices. Big or small, we fix it all at Valley Plumbing. If you care about your family's health, you should care about the quality of the air inside your home. Allergies, illness, and long-term health can all be affected. According to the EPA, the air inside your home can be two to ten times worse than the outside air. Solace Air air cleaners trap 97% of particles at 0.3 microns. That includes today's dangerous viruses. Solace Air provides safe, reliable, and affordable air cleaning products for today's homes. Call All Seasons today to learn more how Solus Air can help keep your family safe. Watch your live local news from anywhere. Download the KESQ app today. Live newscasts and breaking Coachella Valley news as it happens. Search KESQ in your app store today. Time is now 6.15. Time for your time saver traffic. Here's a live look at our I-10 traffic camera in Indio. Traffic, well, you can barely see any out there. No major incidents happening on the roads right now. In Indio, crews will continue repaving along Hoover, Fred Waring, Park, and Shadow Palm Avenues today. The work runs from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. daily through Friday. Use alternate routes if you can. In Rancho Mirage, Monterey will be down to one lane again today. Don't get caught up in it. It's in both directions between Country Club and the Whitewater Channel Bridge. Crews are repaving that mile of Monterey, so expect slow traffic. Just avoid it if you can. You don't want to get caught in that bumper to bumper. This is through September 30th. Over in Palm Desert, both eastbound lanes on Fred Waring Drive between Painter's Path and Highway 111 will be closed overnight. The Coachella Valley Water District is going to replace a manhole between 9 p.m. and 6 tomorrow morning. Eastbound lanes will be detoured. Also in Palm Desert, construction continues on Alessandro Alley between San Marcos and Las Palmas Avenues through November. Crews are working on utilities there, asphalt reconstruction and landscaping. That work runs from 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. daily. We have another Time Saver Traffic update coming up at 645. 
Well, the U.S. continues to see record-breaking numbers of new coronavirus infections. As Laura Podesta reports, confirmed cases in the country now stand at more than 3.7 million, worth more than 140,000 of them deadly. The coronavirus continues to spread rapidly in much of the southern U.S. Three of the most populous states, California, Texas, and Florida, are among the hardest hit. As they start to peak, we're seeing other epicenters of epidemic spread start to emerge. So you have to be very worried right now about Georgia, about Tennessee, about Missouri, about Kentucky. Experts say testing remains a major problem. In some areas, the wait for results is taking a week or more. Once a test is delayed more than 48 hours, it becomes not very useful for clinical decision making. As cases surge in California, many are bracing for another lockdown. It was a discouraging week because we just went backwards. In Florida, at least 45 hospitals had no available beds in intensive care units as of Sunday afternoon, according to data from the state's Agency for Healthcare Administration. I said four months ago, if we don't do this right, we're going to have to close down again. That's our worst nightmare, and we're going to have to do that in Florida. State governments are turning to Washington for help. With Congress back in session today, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says the first order of business will be a new coronavirus relief package. The House has already approved a three and a half trillion dollar bill. I would consider not signing it if we don't have a payroll tax cut. President Trump says he also wants the measure to include liability protections for businesses. That was Laura Podesta reporting the Enhanced Federal Unemployment Benefit Program, which has been providing an extra $600 a week to out-of-work people, is set to expire at the end of this month. Time is now 618 in Texas. 85 children under the age of one have tested positive for the coronavirus in just one county. Health leaders in Nueces County have not provided specific information on these cases or specified when they were confirmed. Questions continue to remain about the infection rates among children. Now, the CDC says more than 175,000 cases have been confirmed in children under the age of 17. That accounts for roughly 6% of all confirmed cases. 228 kids have died. Nueces County currently has one of the fastest growing outbreaks in the state. And back here in California, in San Bernardino County, the health department says the majority of coronavirus cases are stemming from private gatherings. Over the last month, 71% of those infected attended a family gathering. In comparison, 3% of the infected attended a religious service, while another 3% attended a protest. More than half of the cases are among those between the ages of 20 and 39, so the younger people. This information is coming through contact tracers, which Riverside County is encouraging all residents to comply with. Time is now 619. Rapper Kanye West used part of his first event since declaring himself a presidential candidate to rant against historical figure Harriet Tubman. Well, Harriet Tubman never actually freed the slaves. She just had the slaves go work for other white people. The comments drew opposition from some in the crowd at yesterday's North Charleston, South Carolina event. West also discussed various topics such as religion, abortion, international trade and licensing deals. Whether he is actually seeking to uh, seek out the nation's highest office remains in question. Meanwhile, President Trump is refusing to publicly comment on to commit to accepting the results of the upcoming presidential election. He told Fox News yesterday that it is too early to make a guarantee and he does not believe the polls are showing him lagging behind Democrat Joe Biden. Can you give a direct answer? You will accept the election? I have to see. Look, you, I have to see. No, oh, I'm not going to just say yes. I'm not going to say no. And I didn't last time either. The Biden campaign says the American people will decide the election and the government is capable of escorting trespassers out of the White House. President Trump is also speaking out on the Pentagon, favoring renaming bases that honor Confederate military leaders. He says he does not care what the military says. Now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Patrick Evans. The Edom Hill Cam this morning, Timo's live sky cam showcasing the start of our work week. 
with a lot of sunshine, clear skies, and warm conditions. Our temperatures right now, as you're getting ready to head off wherever you might be going, we're pretty close to our morning lows, and we've dropped into the upper 80s at Thermal and Indio. We're in the upper 70s in Palm Desert and Cathedral City, still in the 80s in Palm Springs. Very warm this morning, just didn't cool off much overnight. Some of that was due to the winds. When the winds kick up a little bit, it tends to hold our temperatures up. Uh, with the atmosphere moving around, it's a little harder for things to cool off. So we've got winds of up around 10, 11 miles per hour moving from Desert Hot Springs. Lower wind speeds on the valley floor. Indio and Thermal still seeing a little breeziness despite the fact that the wind advisory expired at 6 o'clock. Very gusty in white water, windy through the Banning Pass as you would expect, but things calming down here on the valley floor. Two points, predominantly in the 40s and they're going to dry out this afternoon. One of the things that we were watching all week last week was the development of monsoonal flow. So, so far it is pulling its way up into the uh, Arizona area, but not for us. And it actually stretches all the way out to Vegas, but we're protected. We are still under a fairly dry air mass. Uh, the outlook for today has that high pulling up moisture uh, to our east. So this is the area where you could see some scattered showers and thunderstorms, but obviously it doesn't even quite get to the uh, Colorado River which means that we should stay dry. That's good news because the dry air mass that's in place uh, is important because we're going to be up around 110 to 112 today. That would be further complicated by the uh, influx of moisture. Futurecast shows that that area of high pressure sticks around. It's not going to move much. It'll hover in the four corner states. Uh, so we're going to remain fairly dry, but the numbers start to come down a little bit. That area of low pressure slides in. So it's a weak trough. And so today and tomorrow we're going to be 110 or better. This afternoon actually doesn't look terrible, but it is going to be a little hotter than normal. Our Comfort Air 7-day forecast keeps the numbers up through tomorrow at 110. We're about average on Wednesday at 108 degrees, and look what happens as we head into the remainder of the week. Relatively mild numbers, 105 on Thursday and Friday, and near our seasonal average for the weekend. It is very hard to complain about these numbers here in the latter part of July. That is, well, as far as the desert goes, pretty comfortable stuff at 105. Angela. Yeah, I'll take it. Thank you, Patrick. Good news. Time is now at 623. Well, on this day, 51 years ago, Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin took man's first steps on the moon. How you can celebrate this stellar milestone this week coming up. You're watching News Channel 3, the desert's news leader. You want a great looking car? We you want great reliability? I've had Toyota since 1998, and I keep coming back to the folks at I-10 Toyota because they're the best. You want great service? We say yes! You want a great deal? Not only have we purchased several vehicles here, they gave us amazing deals. And you want it fast? We say yes! Get a brand new 2020 Toyota Camry Hybrid and get 0% APR for 60 months. Say yes to Express and get our best deal ever fast. At Comfort Air, we're dedicated to serving our customers with only the best. The best customer service. The best trained technicians. The best warranties. The best prices. Our team is dedicated to the service you deserve. Your comfort will always be our number one priority. Make the easy choice the number one choice. Comfort Air. How did you do on the science test? Good. My dad taught me the math and science of solar and batteries in fourth grade. I should have known. My dad insists that everyone who calls Hot Purple Energy is educated about their energy future. Oh, the company we used only cared about selling us a system. We all learned long ago that math doesn't lie, and neither does my dad's company, Hot Purple Energy. Think solar. Think purple. Hot, Hot Purple, purple Energy. energy. What things are not safe to do while you're driving a car? Eating. Eating. Drinking. Drinking while driving, is that bad? Yeah. How come that's bad? Because if you spill it, you might fall off a bridge. Can the police do something to you if they catch you? They could put you in jail. And is it safe to text while you're driving? No. So you don't text while you drive? Do you drive the car? Yeah. Call Walter Clark at the 7s. 
The All-American Sales Event with employee pricing for everyone at Coachella Valley Buick GMC is going on now, and we're celebrating all month long. Take advantage of huge discounts with employee pricing for everyone on both GMC and Buick. We have the largest selection of new and pre-owned trucks and SUVs in the desert. Visit us today in the I-10 Auto Mall or shop online at I-10GM.com. The All-American Sales Event with employee pricing for everyone going on now at Coachella Valley Buick GMC. Don't miss it. Closed captioning brought to you by Brad Schmidt Real Estate Group, exclusively endorsed by Shark Tank's Barbara Corcoran. Today is Moon Day, marking the 51st anniversary of man's first lunar landing. President Richard Nixon made the first Moon Day proclamation for July 20th in 1971, two years after the landing. Twelve states have sponsored bills recognizing Moon Day, but it hasn't had enough support to be federally recognized yet. Landing on the moon has been hailed as the single greatest technological achievement of all time. To mark the occasion, it's a great time to break out the telescope or the binoculars while you're at it. You can also look for the comet Neowise in the night sky. It'll be closest to the Earth on Wednesday. I, for one, am in favor of turning this into a nationally recognized holiday, complete with um, paid time off. Everyone can go out and enjoy the night sky. What do you think, Patrick? I think you're a fan too, right? <laughs> It is not <laughs> just about the paid time. It's not just about. It's about celebrating mankind's greatest achievement, but is, also the it, paid time off. It is no? an incredible achievement. <laughs> Great achievement of technology and engineering and human spirit. Outside, we're off to a nice start. Warm for the next couple of days. Cooler as we head into the rest of the week. I've got one small forecast for man, one giant forecast for mankind coming up. We'll be right back. This summer is the summer of Gordon. I am raising the bar. And KDFX Fox 11 with Gordon Ramsay wants you to win a $250 gift card you can use on groceries and gas. Bloody delicious. To win, watch Fox primetime programming tonight between 8 and 10 p.m. for the Gordon Ramsay Daily Code Word. Ooh, what's going to happen? Then go to KDFX.com and click this link to enter the word of the day. That's hot. And don't forget to watch Summer of Gordon Tuesdays and Wednesdays on Fox 11. You're crazy. Brought to you locally by ScreensToYou.com. Delicious. When a reckless driver hits you, it is not your fault and you deserve your medical bills and paid in suffering, paid in full. Hi, I'm attorney Jeffrey Weaver. One of the most common mistakes people make after being injured is to move forward without an attorney. You deserve someone who will be on your side, someone who will fight for you. For me, it's personal. At the law offices of Jeffrey A. Weaver, we will fight for you and get you the settlement you deserve. If you've been hurt, call today, 444-HURT, to take the worry out of a bad situation and get your life back to normal. Celebrate luxury at its best at Infinity Palm Springs, the Valley's premier Infinity dealership with a customer-focused master tech service department. At Infinity Palm Springs, we are here to help you discover the right Infinity. We have a wide range of sedans, coupes, crossovers, and SUVs, each offering visionary technology and luxurious detail. We look forward to your visit at Infinity Palm Springs, where there are amazing finance and lease options waiting for you. Mattress Showroom is open for business and ready to help find the perfect mattress just for you. Visit any of our four Desert Store locations today or call one of our sleep experts and we'll gladly see you by appointment. If you prefer, we can also simply just advise you over the phone. Visit us today or call us at 760-619-5759 to get you sleeping better tonight. Over 50 mattress specials are going on right now. Save up to 70%. Wishing everybody in the Coachella Valley sweet dreams and stay safe. That's my daddy, Lance Morgan. That's my mommy, Leanne Morgan. We're the L's. In L&L &L door and window. Replacing existing windows and doors with new mill guard windows and doors is much easier and affordable than you may think. Our certified professional installation process eliminates stucco or drywall damage. We're the number one door and window company in the Coachella Valley. As a certified mill guard dealer, we guarantee your satisfaction. Call my mommy and daddy to schedule your appointment today. This portion of the news is brought to you by Newell Taylor Accounting. You're watching KESQ, the desert's news leader. This is News Channel 3 in the morning. Firefighters have managed to control an overnight fire that could have been a lot worse for a main water source here in the Coachella Valley. The aftermath of that scene this morning that's coming up in a live report. And the Palm Springs City Council is working on reforming previous tactics used by former leaders and law enforcement. How some residents say they have been personally affected. We'll hear from them just ahead. 
Good morning to you. I'm Angela Chen. It's now 6.30 this Monday, July 20th. Jeff Stahl is off this morning, but Patrick Evans isn't. He's got your first alert forecast right now. Hey, Patrick. F to make him not want to come in today. I don't know. I, I was as cordial to him as could be, and then he just took the whole week off. <laughs> All right. Let's see. That's what... All right, well, that's, that's Jeff. Everybody deserves a little vacation. and uh, This is a good time of year to be taking it. Uh, outside, as you're looking out at the uh, Palm Springs International Airport, sunny start of the day. You're looking up uh, as you look along Tokwitz towards the mountain. A uh, pretty view this morning, and the numbers, well, on the warm side, no doubt. 81 degrees. Uh, that's about as cool as we've been. 28% relative humidity. The winds have backed off a little bit. It was gusty yesterday. Wind advisories expired. There is some moisture off to our east, but it should stay to our east, so we're not going to worry too much about that. Dry conditions, but hotter than normal today and tomorrow, improving as we head into the rest of the week. Sunny skies, you can see that that cloud cover is a long way off, so that's good news. We'll hold on to the sunshine. Numbers today are going to get close to 112 degrees. That's about 4 degrees above average. Looks better for the rest of the week. We'll discuss it in full detail in a few minutes. Angela. Thanks, Patrick. Time is now 632. New this morning, a fire that broke out late last night at the Coachella Valley Water District in Coachella is now under control. Firefighters have since left the scene. That is where we find our News Channel 3's Madison Wild this morning with the aftermath on that damage. Hi, Madison. Yeah, Angela, there's no more active flames here this morning, but we can certainly see the damage that was left behind. We can see these burned palm trees here and smell that burned ashy smell. And we know from our crew that was here last night, as well as viewer video that was sent in, that there was a pretty significant fire here at the Coachella Valley Water District late last night. Cal Fire says it all happened just after 11 on Tyler Street. Our crew at the scene said several bushes and at least one shipping container caught on fire near the vendors and delivery entrance. That's where we are right now and there were no structures on fire from what our crew was able to see and we know firefighters shut down Tyler at Avenue 52 toward Cardinal to control the flames. Access to the apartment complex across the street was also closed off for a while. Only one entry and exit was open there but as of this morning that has since reopened and Cal Fire says the cause of this fire is under investigation. Live in Coachella this morning, Madison Weil, News Channel 3. All right, good to see that fire is out now. Thank you, Madison. Time is now 633. The Palm Springs City Council is working to make changes when it comes to police brutality and racial inequality in the city. Over the weekend, council members held their first online listening session on policing, racism, discrimination, and the potential removal of the Frank Bogart statue. Some residents spoke out on what they feel is unequal treatment from police. Every time I'm stopped, uh, the police ask me am I on probation or parole. You know, uh, we know that the city is only 5% black, but that uh, 13 blacks are 13% of the risk. Watching your brother pick up beer bottles from his grandmother's name, from his grandmother's home, because there's a party across the street and the beer bottles are in her yard. And the police officer taking my brother when he was in high school down to the police department, arresting him, kept him there for four hours. Other residents spoke in defense of police, saying they keep the city's streets safe from crime. It's now 634. Some students in the high desert will soon see some relief this fall as Copper Mountain College in Joshua Tree has created a scholarship. It's in honor of George Floyd, who was killed during an arrest in Minneapolis back in May, which led to worldwide protests. News Channel 3's Danny Romero has more on how the college is supporting their students of color. As a conversation around police brutality and racial inequality sparks up nationwide after the death of George Floyd, Copper Mountain College and Joshua Tree honoring their students. Students of color are, are important and a huge part of our college and it means so much to our college. So. Um, this was a way to acknowledge what they were going through. Executive Director of the Foundation, Sandra Smith, says Professor K.J. Omid's rush to start the fund in June, along with the help of 31 donors. We've got monthly donations going into this fund. We have annual contributions into this fund. So this, this is a long-term scholarship. The scholarship set to award three students of color with $1,000 towards next school year's tuition. One freshman ready to apply. With getting a scholarship like this, it'll it'll line up things for me to do 
to make change. Students and staff are praising the move on social media. One comment reading, great job, this is a step in the right direction for this country. Another says this is big time, might not seem like much, but it's a step. I just think it's a great thing because it gives the opportunity for the college to give back to our community. And with, with the name being George Floyd, you know, it ties in that the Black Lives Matter movement, it ties in the black community perfectly and be long before every college has something like this. Smith says the college has about 1,500 full-time students and less than 10% of the student body is African-American. So it was important for the school to show solidarity. All of our students to know that we're listening Please, you know, help us. And I hope that it's, um, you know, a safe enough space to do that. Danny Romero, News Channel 3, Joshua Tree. Yeah, big deal there. Time now is 6.36. A lawsuit has been filed and an investigation will likely be launched into the federal government's response to protesters in Oregon. Why some say the Trump administration is violating First Amendment rights, that's coming up. You're watching The Desert News Leader. The News Channel 3 I-Team Investigators. We do much more than bring you the news every day. How has the pandemic impacted your ability to get things done? Years of experience asking the tough questions. Morning, noon, and night, we investigate for you. What are the range of problems that you've seen? What do you think the long-term impact of this is going to be? Uncovering problems, finding new solutions. That's what makes News Channel 3 the desert's news leader. This order could be more than an order. This could be the first snack you haven't had to share with the kids in weeks. Or this order could be the first reason to show off those new retros. Whatever this order is for you, we'll be here to take it. Now get two of the all-time favorites for just six bucks. Mix and match a classic Big Mac, quarter pounder with cheese, filet fish or 10-piece chicken McNuggets. Only at McDonald's. This is where my mind opens, where I prepare for life. This great circle, questioning, discovering, creating. At this table, we learn to lead, to nurture, to sow and reap. We search the past, celebrate the present, build the future. Palm Valley Education, personal and profound. It is pretty hot out there. Let's check in with Paul from Comfort Air to tell us how we can deal with this heat and stay comfortable. Thanks, Carol. And your seven-day forecast, hot, hot, and hot. So you want to stay cool with the new Lennox XC25. It's quiet, efficient, and affordable. We have the best financing options in the Coachella Valley. You'll never have to worry about your family's comfort again. Back to you, Carol. Call Comfort Air today and see why they're number one for a reason. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard. This summer, we'll be traveling in a cabin where every seat is premium and all baggage flies free. So fasten your seatbelts and enjoy the panoramic views. Nissan is offering nonstop routes to summer. And now is the best time to get into a new Nissan. Get a low $149 per month lease on the 2020 Nissan Sentra or save $3,000 on the 2020 Nissan Rogue Sport. Watch your live local news from anywhere. Download the KESQ app today. Live newscasts and breaking Coachella Valley news as it happens. Search KESQ in your app store today. Time is now 639. City leaders in Portland, Oregon are demanding federal troops leave the city. Militarized units from Homeland Security and other federal agents flooded the streets after weeks of protests. As Megan Tavrizian reports, the mayor is calling the federal response a direct threat to American democracy. This morning, the mayor of Portland, Oregon, demanding federal troops get out of his city. Leave. Your presence here isn't wanted. It's not needed. Mayor Ted Wheeler criticizing the Trump administration's decision to send the troops after more than seven weeks of protests following the death of George Floyd, some of them violent. Four or five men came out, jump out, um, and just start rushing at all of us. It was absolutely terrifying. An internal Homeland Security memo obtained by the New York Times says many on the ground are not even properly trained. Unmarked vehicles driving into crowds 
pulling people off the streets without any probable cause as far as I can tell. And the people who are engaging in those activities aren't even willing to identify who they are and they don't wear insignia on their uniforms. That's a real threat to democracy. Now, top Democrats in the House are calling for an immediate investigation of the Justice Department and Homeland Security Department, questioning the use of force. On Fox News Sunday, President Trump defended the arrests. You know, if you look at what's gone on in Portland, those are anarchists, and we've taken a very tough stand. If we didn't take a stand in Portland, you know, we've arrested many of these leaders. If we didn't take that stand, right now you would have a problem like, you know, you, they were going to lose Portland. But Wheeler insists the troops are escalating the situation. There's no question in my mind that this is a very cynical ploy on the part of the Trump White House. It's targeting not only the city of Portland, but other democratically controlled cities. And I absolutely believe that the play here is to support his own base. Oregon's attorney general is now suing a list of agencies claiming they're seizing people without probable cause in violation of their civil rights. Megan Tavrizian, ABC News, San Diego. Time is now 641 in New Jersey. The FBI is searching for the gunman who attacked the family of a federal judge in their home, killing the judge's son and wounding her husband. According to investigators, someone dressed as a FedEx driver arrived at Judge Esther Salas's home late last night. They say her son, Daniel, who was a freshman in college, opened the door and was immediately shot and killed. The judge's husband, a criminal defense attorney, is in critical condition after being shot. Investigators say Judge Salas was in the basement at the time. She is the first Latina to serve on the federal bench in New Jersey. For now, a motive remains unclear. Georgia Democrats are facing a tight deadline to select a candidate to take the late John Lewis's congressional seat. The civil rights icon passed away late Friday after a fight with pancreatic cancer. Under Georgia law, the party is to inform the Georgia Secretary of State's office whether they intend to appoint a replacement by today. Democrats are now looking at 131 candidates who are interested in being the party's nominee this November. The Democrat will face Republican Angela Stanton King, a criminal justice reform advocate and former reality star. Time is now 643. Healthcare workers have a lot of weight on their shoulders and it can cause some serious fatigue. Coming up all new in our next half hour, what one nonprofit is now working to combat. You're watching News Channel 3, the desert's news leader. And we are looking outside at the tram cam, looking down Chino Canyon. Beautiful view as we start our Monday. Temperatures a little bit above average today, but they're coming down as we head through the rest of the week. Stick around for that first alert forecast. Happy Monday. We'll be right back. He made history as a two-time bachelor. Don't screw this up. Brad is back. Sexy, sexy. With twice the surprises and twice the drama. That's from every woman in America. The Bachelor, the greatest seasons ever, ABC Tonight. You've been seriously injured. You need someone you can trust. Hi, I'm attorney Jeffrey Weaver. We provide personal and individualized legal representation. Our goal is full recovery, to relieve your financial burdens and make sure you get everything you're entitled to. Call us today. Paper Doll Interiors is pleased to announce the Hunter Douglas Smart Shade Savings Event now through September 7th. You can enjoy smart rebate savings on select Hunter Douglas shades with PowerView motorization. Hunter Douglas PowerView motorized shades are intelligent shades that move automatically to a schedule you set. Call or stop by Paper Doll Interiors today and ask about the Hunter Douglas Smart Shade Savings Event now through September 7th. Limitations and restrictions apply. Paper Doll Interiors. Dear California, we know these are challenging times, and with summer here, energy bills are rising. Together, we can save energy and money by taking steps to stay cool while using less. Keep safe and keep it golden. You're watching KESQ, the desert's news leader. This is News Channel 3 in the morning with Jeff Stahl, Angela Chen, and meteorologist Patrick Evans. Buy a select 2020 Volkswagen today and you won't pay any interest for the next six years. Click, call, or come by your Volkswagen dealer today and get 0% APR financing for 72 months on select 2019 and 2020 models. Talk a little bit about Augusta. That was something really special. The interaction and the passion that we put into it. And he wanted a green that was very similar to what they have at Augusta National right. with the slopes and everything, and we incorporated that. If you fit your product to what 
the needs of that person is going to be. A lot of times it's going to shock them how good it turns out. We'd go in the house, look out the window, what do you want to look at? It's Augusta, it's the Mecca. It turned out spectacular. Buy a select 2020 Volkswagen today and you won't pay any interest for the next six years. Click, call, or come by your Volkswagen dealer today and get 0% APR financing for 72 months on select 2019 and 2020 models. Watch your live local news from anywhere. Download the KESQ app today. Live newscasts and breaking Coachella Valley news as it happens. Search KESQ in your app store today. It's now 646, time for your time saver traffic. Here's a live look at our I-10 traffic cam in Indio. Traffic is moving right along. No major incidents happening on the roads right now. In Indio, crews will continue repaving along Hoover, Fred Waring, Park, and Shadow Palm Avenues today. That work runs from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. daily through Friday. Use an alternate route if you can. In Rancho Mirage, Monterey will be down to one lane again today, both directions between Country Club and the Whitewater Channel Bridge. Crews are repaving that mile of Monterey, so slow down. Avoid that area if you can, because there will be traffic there. In Palm Desert tonight, both eastbound lanes on Fred Waring Drive between Painter's Path and Highway 111 will be closed overnight. The Coachella Valley Water District is going to replace a manhole between 9 p.m. and 6 tomorrow morning. Eastbound lanes will be detoured. We've got your time saver traffic update every Monday through Friday at 615 and 645. Time is now 647. As the pandemic continues, more of our medical workers are feeling the emotional and physical burnout working on the front lines. News Channel 3's Madison Mile has more on a local nonprofit aiming to help. The unprecedented fight against coronavirus. It is physically demanding work as well as emotionally demanding work. The stress of the job often taken home. There's times when I just can't sleep, you know, because all I'm thinking is, did I miss this? This is really starting to wear on the staff. It's been going on a long time. One local nonprofit aiming to help by providing resources, workshops, and exercises. We have come up with a way to provide mental PPE to proactively protect them against the mental traumas that they face every single day. It's called First Responder Resilience. The founder, Alfred Ritchie, says he started the program years ago to help first responders deal with stress and what he calls compassion burnout. What happens when you ignore yourself, you ignore taking care of yourself, and you're always giving to others. Offering mental wellness group activities virtually now given the pandemic and working alongside director Karen Eusebio, a licensed mental health counselor. What happens mentally when you have chronic stress? It's not unusual then to start having thoughts about Oh, you know, I don't want to get up anymore. Maybe life would be better if I wasn't here. And you start kind of playing with those thoughts because you're worn down. Those interested in seeking help or just opening a conversation should visit www.firstresponderresilience.com. You're not alone. There's not something wrong with you. You're not deficient in any way. You're not broken. You don't need to be fixed. You just need to be rejuvenated. Madison Weil, News Channel 3. Now, your